Hey guys, what is up? It is Skullflag44 here and welcome to the first episode of my high school tips series. Basically what I'm going to do in this series is give you guys some tips on high school, particularly freshman year because that's what I've completed, and other stuff you might be curious in relating to high school, uh, social stuff, academic stuff, uh, mo emotional stuff maybe, um, all that physical stuff, the whole part of the health triangle there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and explain how this is going to go down. So what it's going to be, it's going to be like a regular commentary. This is like a one hour and 37 minute um, the zombies session. And so I have a lot of gameplay here to work with. Um, but I'm going to keep talking like a normal commentary, but I do have notes on the side. So it's a little more in depth than a regular commentary. Um, I'm going to split it into parts at the very end. And so then you'll it'll be easier for you guys to watch it. Probably about 10 minutes, but we'll see. Um, and the information is going to be sporadic. I'm just going to kind of rant on something. The first thing that comes to my mind or whatever. Um, but I do have notes to kind of back me up with there. And then when I kind of run out of stuff to say, I will end the commentary. And then I'll kind of, you know, think about it and come back a day, two days later, or whatever. And continue adding on more stuff that I missed. Um, so the overarching goal is uh, what to expect in high school and how to su succeed. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my qualifications here, maybe. Uh, this probably sound like I'm, you know, way, like, way too cocky or whatever. But I'm just telling you guys what, how I was successful uh, or you know, how successful I was, I guess is a better way to put it. Um, so you guys know, you know, if you should take my advice. Um, so I went into high school um, with uh, 4.0 all the way through middle school. Um, so I was feeling pretty confident. Um, but I wasn't, I heard or heard high school was like way harder than middle school, um, which in some cases it is, but it isn't as bad. Um, but I kind of prepared, over prepared myself, which is probably a good way to do it. Um, so I went into it thinking like, I don't think I'm going to get a 4.0 this year, but I'm going to do my best. And then I was kind of working through high school, whatever. Um, and I was like, okay, good grades so far. Uh, Cause the first part I tried, you know, tried super hard, tried to build up my grades. So then when I, you know, kind of got tired of school, it wasn't, you know, that big of a deal. My grades slipped a little. Um, and I ended up completing, um, the first semester with uh, 4.0 straight A's. And then second semester, there was some more like twists and turns in that one. Um, but I did get a 4.0 in that one too. Um, so I've all only got 4.0. That's all I know. Um, so hopefully I can give you guys some good tips on how I uh, achieved that and what might work for you, other stuff like that. Um, so the first thing is grades. Um, when I go into school, that's kind of like my main focus um, because a lot of people, you know, go for like the social aspect or whatever. But school, it's meant for education. Um, definitely social part, that's a big part of it. And you shouldn't just be like, um, write that off uh, completely um, but the grades are kind of like you know what I strive for now I guess um, and if I were to get like a a minus or something like that um, I wouldn't be like super mad because um, it's going to happen eventually I know that um, or you know B plus whatever um, but it's just kind of like at this point I'm just you know seeing how long I can have this streak go because um, I know at some point uh, it's going to end uh, but like this, for example, this year, uh, some teachers weren't very good at teaching um, and they had some grade mishaps where they lost assignments and stuff like that. And they lost multiple kids assignments. Um, and then so I had some issues with that where I just got, you know, no credit on some stuff, stuff that I definitely did and definitely turned in. Um, but I like conquered that, I guess. And so I hope when I get my A minus B plus or anything, but an A or whatever, my first one of that is it'll be because the class is just too hard um, and I, you know, it's the content is tough rather than teachers making stupid mistakes. Um, so that, that's kind of what I hope for. And also a thing to note is that getting good grades is pretty easy. Like it's not that hard. It's just about the amount of time you put into it. Um, so I'm going to be telling you guys, you know, it's all about your time um, to grade ratio sort of deal, like your effort to grade, I guess. I don't know. I should really get like a big formula for this, but I d don't have it. Um, and so that's kind of what you have to balance there because if you spend all your time focusing on grades, hopefully you can get, um, you know, the grades you want or whatever. Um, but with that, you know, you might have some trouble just because the, uh, you're, you know, not taking breaks and you might be slowing down there, um, just cause you're pushing yourself too hard. Um, but you, you need to do some balance there and I didn't put all that much effort in at all. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some big tips on how, to you know not put that much effort in and still get good grades so the first part is to pay a lot of attention in class like um 
for whatever reason, like in in class, I can focus way more, better than at home because there's no distractions. Or when there is distractions, it's kind of like, okay, I'm at school. Um, I can I can deal with this or whatever. I'm prepared to deal with this. Um, while at home, there's like, you know, computer and stuff, and Twitter, all that stuff. Um, so I can get way better work done at school. So my advice would be just work super hard at school and not be like, oh, I'll finish this when I get home. Um, just because you're going to have other stuff you need to finish when you get home. Um, so just crank out as much as you can at school because it's going to suck anyway. So it's like, you know, it's just, just like push hard at it. Um, because even at some point, like with school, if teachers don't want to sign anything and it'll just be like boring, but you still have to like sit there, that's just boring. But if you have some work to do, then it's like, it's less boring because you have something to work on, I guess. And if you're going to have to be, have to be doing it at home, it's like, just, just crank it out. Um, and also pay attention when teachers are talking, if you can, or if it's necessary. Um, because a lot of times what teachers t will say, they'll put, translate that like right onto a test or something. And then you have to do less studying, which is always nice. Um, but some teachers, like I've had, te I had teachers last year uh, that would just kind of talk about stupid stuff. And at that point, it's kind of like, okay, maybe you can plan to give yourself a break there or something like that. But just kind of, you know, no, prepare yourself to, um, you know, I guess just pay attention as much as possible. And then if you have to tweak that, depending on the teacher, do that. Um, I, the next thing I'll move on to is sleep. Um, sleep is a huge part, I think, of being successful. Um, for me, like, I, like, as long as, let's see, as long as I get like seven, six to seven hours of sleep, I'm pretty good. Um, but you need to get like some form of sleep, I think, um, or a good, I think you're supposed to get like eight and that's actually pretty helpful because people say like, oh, I, you know, you know, if I get 10 or if I get like six or eight, it doesn't matter. I feel the same. It's like, okay, how you feel like you can't feel everything. Like people be like, oh, I feel, you know, feel the same. But there's stuff you can't feel and it changes you a little bit. So if you get a good night's sleep, that's always helpful. Um, eating a good breakfast, eating good food, that's always good. Um, if you just, you know, treat your like body right, it's going to pay off in ways that you might not necessarily expect it. And, um, that's, that's always good. Um, oh, one thing I should, I should note here is that, um, sometimes I like to just drink water, just drink like tons of water. Um, I measured like my cups to see how much I'm drinking and I have like one cup, that's like 16 ounces. And then, uh, if I drink two of those, that's 32 ounces, which is half of your daily dose of water. Um, and you get more water than just you drink, um, keep that in mind, but it just feels great. If you, I just will drink like, um, like three 16 ounces or whatever, um, drink, like chug those down and then you'll have to like pee a ton, but it just feels like it just kind of cleans out your body. Um, but that's one thing to kind of do on the weekend or when you don't have anything to do. Um, just because you don't really want to do other stuff when you have to pee constantly cause that's not fun. Um, but that's just kind of one thing, um, I should note that you guys can do if you're feeling like kind of, you know, you're not feeling all that well, just drink tons of water. Um, it works for me. Um, and also make sure you're drinking enough water, like during school and stuff, or, you know, um, around, I guess, just, just make sure you drink water. Cause people will be like, oh yeah, you know, I don't drink that much water, but it's like, you should be drinking water. Even if your body's gotten used to it, like try to be drinking a good amount of water. You don't have to, you know chug tons you know necessarily but you know try to drink a good amount um and on that kind of note of um, physical help um make sure you get exercise um people will sometimes just be like especially when they're in grades like oh i do homework from this to this you know no time for exercise it's like you're going to be helping yourself more in school if you're exercising to some extent um so for me i'll take a podcast might go for a run um play basketball that's kind of what i did for the last part of school um play a lot of basketball and just kind of you know relax let your mind wander because sometimes like at least for me like my mind will still be thinking about something as i'm on something else um so that's a good way to maybe like work out different problems you're having might not be school might be social might be all that you know other jazz they have going on in high school because high school is definitely not just school um if you can get to the point where it is all you have to worry about is school um that's it's pretty solid so i think that's you know what you might strive for. That's kind of what I strive for. Um, and another, another thing to note is that high school, like it isn't all uh, academics, as I said before, and you kind of have to realize, understand what your goal for high school is sort of deal is. Um, like 
some people want good grades other people want you know to be popular honestly um, I'm going for stuff that like will help me in the future and that kind of means getting good grades I mean like you don't really need perfect grades you know whatever um, but good grades um, some outer out of school um, extracurricular